As you transition from Microsoft Outlook to Gmail, you'll notice some dramatic differences between the two applications. So let's take a few moments to better acquaint you with some of the differences, features, functionality, and benefits you'll experience with Gmail. One of the big differences between the two applications you may not even notice or be aware of. Gmail, the Google Apps email application, is not installed on your computer like your previous email application. Gmail is a web-based application that runs in the cloud. So what does that mean to you? Well, since Gmail and the rest of the Google Apps applications like Google Calendar, Google Docs, and Google Sites are stored in the cloud, they can be accessed from any computer using a modern web browser like Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, and Google's own web browser, Google Chrome. And your email is no longer stored in mail servers your company has to purchase and maintain. Your email is stored in the cloud as well, on Google's very secure servers. So since your email is stored in the cloud, and since Gmail is accessible through a web browser, it means you can access your email using any web browser anywhere in the world, like your home, from a business client halfway around the world, right up the street at your favorite internet cafe, and even on your mobile phone. Your information is available anywhere you can access the internet. We mentioned that your email is stored on Google's secure servers, but we didn't tell you how much email you could store there. Gmail provides 25 gigabytes of storage for every Google Apps business user. On average, that's 50 times more storage space than other email solutions. So let's put that in perspective. Let's say this block represents one gigabyte of storage. Most email systems give you on average about 500 megabytes, roughly about half a gigabyte or half the size of the block. Then on average, about once a year, you were probably forced to compress that block of email, archive it, and save it on your computer to make space for your next 500 megabytes of mail. Well, now you don't need to worry about compressing and archiving your messages because you have 50 times more storage. That's right, no more pestering messages telling you you're running out of email storage space. Pretty cool, right? Archiving is another thing Gmail handles differently. We use the same term archive, but in Gmail, it doesn't refer to compressing and storing your mail. Archiving in Gmail works like this. Gmail has that 25 gigabytes of storage we mentioned earlier reserved just for you. It's your archive, but we call it all mail because it's where all your email is stored. When new messages arrive for you, they're automatically archived in your all mail container. In order to display the new messages in your inbox, Gmail automatically applies a label called inbox. The inbox label tells Gmail to display the message in your inbox so you can view it. When you're finished reading the email, there's really no need to have it cluttering up your inbox. Just select the message and click the archive button so it's no longer visible in your inbox. Clicking archive simply removes the inbox label from the message. But the message hasn't gone anywhere, it's still archived in your all mail container where it was when it first arrived, and it will stay there until you delete it. Speaking of the inbox label, you may be wondering what labels are. Well, Gmail uses labels in place of folders. Labels are similar to folders in some ways, yet much more versatile than folders. With folders, when you had an email in your inbox that contained multiple pieces of information and you wanted to categorize it, you really only had one option. Place it in a single folder and hope you remembered in which folder you placed it. But with Gmail, when you have an email that fits a number of different categories, you simply apply multiple labels to the message. And you can change the colors of the labels. Applying color is another great feature of labels. Colored labels help you see which messages are associated with which labels. And whenever you select one of the labels, you can view all the messages associated with it. The message isn't duplicated multiple times, it's just associated with the different labels you apply. Another great feature of Gmail is the ability to quickly find the email messages you're looking for. But Gmail doesn't sort your email, it uses Google's powerful search capabilities to search for your messages. Simply enter a word or two associated with the message into the search field, or use keywords to search by sender, recipient, or the email subject. You don't have to enter the entire subject line, just a single word or two. Gmail also provides assistance to help you define your search. Gmail then looks through all the email messages in your all-mail container 
and find the messages matching your search information. And as you add additional pieces of information in the search field and further refine your search, you reduce the number of emails returned until you find the message or messages you're looking for. There are additional search keywords to help you define your search. For a copy of the Gmail search and keyboard shortcuts, visit learn.googleapps.com gmail and click search and keyboard shortcuts. And to discover more about the benefits of Gmail and to download a copy of our Life After Microsoft Outlook guide, visit learn.googleapps.com outlook-users.